Welcome. In this video, I'll describe my process for creating an APA-style student paper. In earlier videos, I mentioned that I use Scrivener for typing of the text of my documents. And I do that just because Scrivener makes it a bit easier for me to move text around within the document if I choose to change the order of my arguments. I'm working on a MacBook Pro. But when I use keyboard commands that are specific to the Mac, I'll also describe the uh, complementary Microsoft Windows keystrokes. You can see here that I've created a Microsoft Word document formatted as an APA style student paper. There's the requisite page number in the upper right corner title of the paper, student name, university, course, identification of the instructor to whom the paper is being submitted, and the date the assignment is due. On the second page, I have an outline of the sections of the document that I would like to create. I'm going to use these but instead of formatting them now as APA style headings, as I demonstrated in an earlier video, I'm going to be copying the text from Scrivener. And I find it's easier for me if I copy the text first and then format the headings of the document. So I'm going to first convert this outline to standard body text. In other words, I'll remove the indentations and the bulleting. I have a style in my document that allows me to do this quickly. Now I have the primary sections of my document that I will be in which I'll be inserting the text from my editor. And I use Scrivener as my editor because I find it a little bit easier to organize the order of my, out, of my arguments. Here in Scrivener, you can see that I've organized the arguments that I wish to present and given each section a title that aligns with the items that were in my outline in Microsoft Word. So I have introduction to the paper, a primary, a main section about theoretical perspectives, specific different perspectives, a section on how to select a theoretical perspective, sub items under that, and then my final comments for the paper, my conclusion. So when I move these text snippets over to Microsoft Word, this text here will become a first level APA heading. This text will become a first level APA heading. This text will be subordinate and will be a second level APA heading. You'll see how it works when I do a demonstration. Here I've repositioned my windows so that I can see both Zotero and my Microsoft Word document. I'll copy the text of my introduction using Command C on a Mac. On a Windows computer, the command is Control C. I copy the text from Zotero and paste it into my Microsoft Word document. I then apply the necessary formatting to make this selected text a level one heading. And if you remember from my earlier videos, the characteristics of a level one heading are centered between the left and right margin, bold, and title case capitalization. Now, because I so frequently write in APA style, I've created Microsoft Word style entries 
that align with the different heading levels of an APA document. So I can just quickly apply the necessary formatting to the uh, text. And I want, so this is a level one heading. This is body text. And I've named body text normal because that's a common name for body text written in Microsoft Word documents. Returning to Scrivener, I move to my next section, which again will be uh, under a level one heading. Copy that text and paste it in the document. And then make this uh, text here a level one heading. So I'm keeping the organizational alignment of Zotero and my Microsoft Word document. Now I come to an item that I want to be a second level heading, a subheading under the previous first level heading. I copy that text from Zotero into Microsoft Word. And again, I'm using the keystroke Command C for copy, Command V for paste. On a Windows computer, it would be Control Copy and Control V. And then I assign a second level heading to this text. The characteristics of a second level APA heading are bold, aligned on the left margin, and title case capitalization. And now I'll just quickly go through the remainder of this section, copying text from Zotero, pasting it into Microsoft Word, and assigning the necessary formatting to the headings. I'm now about to enter the conclusion of the document. I'll copy the text from Zotero, paste it into Microsoft Word, and make my final comment a level one APA style heading. I hope you noticed in the last section how I had inserted this first level heading for selecting a theoretical perspective, even though I had so many second level headings to assign, I followed my Scrivener outline here and made the selecting a theoretical perspective a first level APA style heading. I hope you found this video helpful. I use Scrivener as the editor in which I type the text of my documents because it creates a distraction-free writing environment and I can easily drag and drop sections of my document. And I can use the Scrivener organizer as a way to keep track of the outline of my documents. Scrivener is available through a link that I will post in the uh, description of this video, but I do have to caution. It's not a free program, although I bought it many years ago, and I've been receiving free updates ever since. So for me, it was a worthwhile investment in a piece of software that makes it easier for me to write formal documents. 
I move my documents out of Scrivener and over into Microsoft Word for formatting just because it's Word is the prima facie software application for academic documents. There are ways within Scrivener to export text as a formatted Microsoft Word document, but I found them to be a little bit cumbersome and it's easier for me, or at least it's quicker for me, to write in Scrivener, copy my text into an outline in Microsoft Word, and then reformat the outline items as APA style headings. As always, I wish you very happy academic writing.